Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Welcome to the Muse Day vlog. What's going on? How you guys doing? It is Muse Day morning and I'm just out for my Muse Day morning walk. Trish is at work today, so I'm all alone for my walk this morning. But that's okay, because it's nice. Oh, today the weather is lovely. It's chilly, but not overly cold. That car sounds like it has studded tires. It just sounds weird. Hang on. Nope, no studded tires. No idea why it sounds that way, but I just walked past it. They parked behind me. You can see them parked behind me. And I just walked past the car and took a look as I was walking past. I don't see any studs in the tires. But my bike tires sound like that, and they're studded. They have that weird metallic ticky kind of a noise as I'm riding along. I keep thinking I should change them because as you can clearly see there's no snow yet and we're like two weeks away from Christmas which is weird in comparison to the past couple of years we've been blanketed in snow by this point. The year before last it just it started snoring. snoring? snoring? Really Tom? Snowing in like the end of September and just never stopped. Um, that was the year we had like eight foot snow drifts on the side of my driveway. I wasn't even shoveling anymore so much as I was picking it up and throwing it over the snow banks. That was, that was a terrible year. We had a lot of snow that year. Uh, last year was not so much snow, but again, bitterly cold um, all winter long. It's like three degrees outside today. So it's lovely, lovely morning for a walk. And I gotta go downtown for a walk anyway and pay the landline phone bill. We still have a landline. I'm not sure why. We get more telemarketers on it than anything else, I think. Mostly everyone texts now. Um, we seem to get more telemarketers calling us on the landline than anything else, but there you go. And I gotta buy a bag of milk because for some weird, strange reason, we always seem to run out of milk on Monday. I don't know why. Okay, cool beans. House phone bill, landline phone bill, is paid. That's the only bill I can still pay in cash. I remember just a few years ago, I used to pay all of my bills in cash, and now they're all online payments, except for that one. So, there you go. It's weird that people don't accept cash anymore. That's kind of strange. Uh, working where I do, um, I used to get paid all in cash. Um, just because you know, that's the way my boss did it at the Chinese restaurant. The new guys are paying me half cash and half check, which probably seems weird uh, to some people. Most people, uh, a lot of people I'm imagining now are just direct deposit right into their bank accounts. Um, this is a small town in Garden. You know, we still get paychecks and, and cash and stuff, so there you go. Um, Cool beans. I, I don't really care how you pay me as long as I get paid. I'm good, you know, so there you go. Cool beans. I'm gonna go to Tim's and grab a coffee because coffee. I got my coffee and my Christmas cup at Tim's and now I need to head over and grab a bag of milk at Max. So there you go. I just saw somebody ride past on a bike. It's weird because I haven't seen anybody out cycling really in like a, at least a month past couple days i've seen at least probably six to ten people out riding around on bikes which is kind of cool i guess they're you know realizing that there's not going to be any snow right now and you can still ride a bike so that's pretty awesome i got my milk at max and then i decided to stop at quick k on the way home i'm watching this car because they're coming this way hang on cars coming from both directions it's dangerous. There's no sidewalk here. There you go. Cool beans. Cars coming from both directions. It's very dangerous. There's no sidewalk here. Now I'm over here in this person's driveway, so it's a little safer. I was at Max getting my milk. And I don't understand why people do this, but there's a person ahead of me in line who's buying a sports drink and a chocolate bar. That's it came to three dollars and 38 cents and they paid with a debit card 
I've gone on rants about this before, but who doesn't have $3.38 in cash? I know a lot of people don't pay ca carry cash anymore. But these machines aren't 100% reliable. And it's kind of a waste for the vendor, even. Because they got to pay fees on every transaction that you use your debit card for. I know this, working at the restaurant. When we first got debit at the restaurant, I was the one that set it up. So I know what all the fees and stuff were that we were paying. It's not really worth it for $3.38, but there you go. I personally, I always carry some cash on me just in case, because one, you never know when you're going to go somewhere and the debit's going to be down and you need to pay cash or you can't get what you're there for. And two, I don't want to pay that much in banking fees, to be perfectly honest with you. Unlimited transaction bank accounts are expensive here in Canada, and I don't really want to pay that much, so... I try to pay for most of the stuff that I purchase in cash. That includes going to the grocery store and stuff. I still pay cash at the grocery store most of the time when I go there, because I can't really carry that much stuff on my bike all at once. So, you know, I'll get a backpack full of, uh, you know, a bag or two, it'll be like 40, 50 bucks. I'll pay cash, because um, it's easier. Everyone still takes cash, mostly. So there you go. It's just a little weird little tone rant about why people use debit cards for $3.38. I don't get it, I probably never will. All right, cool beans, I am back home again. I've been home for a while actually, mostly just watching Netflix and that kind of thing. And then I started to fall asleep in my chair, so I got up and did a couple things. And now I think what I'm gonna do is change my bike tires back to my regular tires again, because as you saw earlier, there's no snow. And um, there's no snow in the forecast for the weather for at least the next week and a half. So I think what I'm gonna do is change back to my regular bike tires. Because as you can see, I'm using my studded winter tires at the moment. The problem with this is I don't want to wear down the metal studs on the tires by riding it on the pavement. And two, um, the winter tires are similar to a car tire. They're a softer rubber compound than uh, regular tires that you ride around on the pavement and stuff. So um, they tend to wear a lot faster on pavement than a regular tire does. So even though I've changed them three times already, I think I'm going to go ahead and change them back because the phone's ringing. That's not why. But um, I don't want to wear them out. So there you go. I got my tires changed back to my regular Continental tires. I forget what these are called. I think they're Mountain King or something like that. They're cyclocross tires, actually, is what they are. There it is down there. Uh, Mountain King. Yeah, that's what they're called. Cool beans. So there you go. They're cyclocross tires, actually, not road tires. They're cyclocross tires. Um, so they're meant for cyclocross racing, which, you know, those of you who don't know, is both an on road and off road race on traditional road bikes set up for off road use. Um, while I'm not riding a traditional road bike set up for off road use, the tires are 700C and they work really well for on and off road use. So, there you go. Uh, that's what I normally ride. I used to ride full slicks, but they kind of wore out. And then I thought, you know what, if I get some cyclocross tires, I can take it off road too. So it really broadened my riding region. Cool beans. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna have to make dinner soon, I think. And now it is dinner time. And yes, I'm wearing Trista's Tim Hortons visor because she left it sitting on the chair when she got home from work. So I just picked it up, put it on, because you know, Tim Hortons. So there you go. Cool beans. We're making some spaghetti for supper. I got some chicken in, and I got the water going, and I got some veggies there to throw in. There's no green pepper today, though. There's only onion and red pepper, because that's all we got. Can't put in what I don't have. So there you go. Cool beans. Oh, I'll have some spaghetti for dinner, and I think uh, it's probably not going to be a whole lot more in the vlog this week. 
haven't really done much today other than go for a walk and then watch Netflix and then change the tires on my bike and make dinner. And that's pretty much it. Cool beans. So there you go. Uh, I do have to work tomorrow. Unfortunately, the five day work week thing lasted for exactly one week. And now I gotta work tomorrow again, pretty much all day. Um, because Christmas parties have started and they don't have enough people so they need me to work. I don't want to, but they have an order it's more for 150 people, um, which, as I recall, is probably one of, if not the largest order we've ever had. So um, I guess I have to go in and help make that. So there you go. Uh, hopefully this will only last for the next couple of weeks over Christmas and New Year's. And once we get into January, I go back to my five days of week of work. If we don't, then we're going to have a problem because I don't want to do six. So, there you go. If it's, it's five or nothing at this point. I want to go back to five or I'm done and I'm going to go somewhere else. Um, they seem like nice guys, but... I told them right from the very start that I wanted five days a week and everyone agreed to it and everyone was okay with it. I agreed to do a few weeks of six days just, you know, to help them with the transition and learning how to do all the Canadian stuff and so on and so forth. But um, that ended last week and I had my five days last week, but now I'm back to six again, so I really don't want to keep doing six. Um, so I'm just going to have to put my foot down come January and be like, listen, this is the way it's going to be. And uh, if they don't like it, well, too bad, I guess. Cool beans. So that's pretty much going to do it for this week's vlog. Today was mostly just a rest day because a very, very busy next couple of weeks coming. So there you go. So I wanted to rest up today. And uh, next couple of weeks over Christmas are going to be very busy. So thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on Bonus Clip Thursday. Cool beans. Rock on.